Widow, I would put my money on him every single time. It was just a beautiful area of specialty in his game. So I don't think we're going to see Widow, especially on this stage as we enter into Lijiang Tower, but I'm always ready to be surprised. I would imagine that this is going to be tanky-ish from... Uh, well, I actually, I have no idea what this EX team is going to do. They surprised me with their logo. This would be a team that I guess they could even run combo here, and I think they're leaving with it. Yeah, I don't mind a little bit of this. It's going to be the Farrah Mercy, of course. Even on this stage, some teams just don't like it. So this is very much something that's in Yikes' wheelhouse. But Lynx is going to be on that Tracer here. Let's see how this pans out now. Both these two teams, it's a line of scrimmage straight down the middle. Lynx is forced to recall as he finds the back line. And Mesa was there waiting for him. And now he's going to try and jump in. XQC also goes forward. Where's the dive? Lynx is going to be there with him. He finds the hang straight away. Yeah, able to get to hang out of the mix is a really big deal for them. AZK is trying to bring it back a little bit, but it is still going to be in the advantage of Yikes so far, which I think is going to be a really fun team name to say throughout the day. Ralph is going to come in and try to stall this out, but he's going to give his life for it to Pizza or Za, whatever you want to call him. I think the kids call Pizza Za. I think that's the cool kids do. Fidget spinners and Za. They're cut from the same <laughs> yeah, totally. themselves. Yeah, no, that was the theme of my uh, sleep over the other night. It's great. Oh, 10 out of 10. Uh, <laughs> but like, I'm glad your reference game's on point at least. Thanks, but Lynx is actually getting really aggressive at AZK. He doesn't respect this guy. It doesn't matter what you've heard about him. And don't, bear in mind that Lynx is also playing from Europe. He is really challenging this Tracer v Tracer battle. They're doing quite a good job of it here. That'll be interesting to keep an eye on. But right now, it's all control. Nice little boop there on Mesa and AZK. They can't quite get into the back line here. The disengage from the back line of uh, Yikes has been really nice. And Liquid was actually doing a great job of disengage earlier in the day in their prior matchup. Uh, Pizza's gonna come up over top, will end up dying to the Barrage, but the Barrage will demech the D.Va that ended up putting him down, but it was Linkser again with the Pulse Bomb onto Dehang early to open up that fight, and Zenyatta's such an important part of this composition that once they lose to Hang, and they've done it twice now, the fight is very difficult to bring back, and Linkser's putting on a show on the Tracer. I mean, I just wanted to see him do well so bad, man. Like, yeah. obviously, it's, it's a tough run with Dignitas as well. He was so sick on creation. Now we still get to see him play DPS, even though maybe not they're the DPS we expected. But importantly, there's a Sound Barry, there's a Resurrect. So both support alts are available here for Yikes in this next fight. ATK has a Pulse Bump. ID is going to have to de re suit himself, should I say, and get back in this fight. And again, Mesa goes in. The follow up wasn't really there this time, though, and there wasn't much damage to come of it, especially with the Sound Barrier on the back line, keeping Yikes alive. Well, they also lost their Tracer again early. He was trying to get queued on the side, almost got booped off the edge, was AZK. The Pulse Bomb will not connect for Linkser, but that's uh, the least of their worries right now is they've already been able to push Liquid all the way back. Liquid's going to have to come in here. They have the small advantage, but a lot of this is on Ginger Pop, who's been a very impressive mercy. He's going to have Res in hand. Yep, there comes the engage. to Hood actually boops Meza, but he's caught amongst three here. It's gonna be tough for him to stay alive, and no, he eventually goes down. The transcendence from Dehang gonna be helping him a lot with that. Zard's gonna get forced back into the corner. He still has Ginger Pop with him, but the self destruct doesn't catch anyone at all. It's 99% already for Yikes. They're really putting on a show here. Meza finds Ginger Pop, but that's not the frag you want at this stage of the fight. You need more. He's got the Primal Rage. He's trying to get in the face of Zara as he uses that uh, barrage, but it's not really gonna matter. He finds Shatter. It's another self destruct. It doesn't really amount to much here. It's just Meza on the point, looking very alone and very dead. It's a very patient resurrection, too, from Ginger, and I figured it was going to be just the one if they had to, because they lost to Hoon early, and you really want your Lucio back in the fight when you're nearing the end of those kind of fights, and Ginger Pop able to kind of yo-yo himself up and down towards the top of that, and a lot of times you don't run the combination here because it's difficult to get the right positioning, but if you can get your Farah in position to defend your Mercy in a lot of situations, you're going to be uh, really set, and just really nice play from Ginger Pop there on his Mercy, bringing it back, and 99-0, to Liquid just got bodied. Nobody's really figured out the counter, I think, for the denial composition, at least when they run it. I want to see someone try double hit scan, or at least the damage boost to McCree with maybe a Widow, or not a Widow, a um, Mercy. But it's risky, and it's definitely not in the meta right now, but I think you need a way to burst down either the Rodog or the Diva, because space is actually just creating a lot of it with the defense matrix, just allowing Zod to hit some rockets over the top. And he was very effective in that last fight. Now we're going to be into the second round, of course. A bit of night market action for you fans at home. And already it is going to be uh, Yikes taking up position on the point here. They're going to force an engagement from Liquid. And they haven't been going so well in this game. Without Shatter on that Genji, it seems to have been lacking that effectiveness. But AZK again, Hex trying to get queued around the side, but won't find much to start with. Yeah, when your team is going to run Fair Mercy, you kind of know that this is the angle they're going to take. They don't want to really fight in the courtyard. And when you start pushing onto the point, that's where Fair Mercy can come inside the point, the ceiling 
making this building enormous, so it's not really the detriment to them to have to fight inside, and they are just bullying out to hang, and granted the retreat has been there to try to deal with these divers, but so far they're always losing someone on these dives. Yeah, Mez are falling to links so they're an ATK's desperately oh, trying God. to harass. Digipop gets taken down, that's a very nice helix rocket from ID, but still damage being done by the DPS core of Yikes right now. Zar for a moment was getting forced off the point there by Shadow, but he's going to get desuited, and that's because Dung get up, got up in his face there, got most of that damage done. Space is desuited and it has to remain as such for now, but again, Liquid are still kept away from this point. This has to be disengaged from the Yikes, they don't really have the, the staying power here. Right, but they might try to stall out at the very least. I mean, XQC's going on all by himself. Tahoon now comes in, trying to keep him a little bit alive. Ginger Pop is now, I mean, it's just about the stall. The big benefit of running the pharmacy here is that, like I said, you're going to position on the point nine times out of ten. They gave him the free cap by not contesting it early enough. And despite, you know, they're going to lose this fight and eventually, but they're going to be at 45%. Yeah, I mean, the reality is, though, doing this, you might get extra percentage, but you also feed ultimates over the enemy team, yes. right? There's going to be a sound barrier, pulse bomb, tac visor. There was actually a primer rage used there by Mesa, interestingly enough, but there's so many ultimates here for Liquid to use in this next fight. Now they're getting aggressive, so they're going to obviously know if we want to make this pulse bomb effective, we want to catch these guys in these close quarters. We want to catch them before they get out in the open ground. Ideal on, on stalls like that, you want to be so annoying that it forces the other team to use ultimates. You want to pressure supports down to low health so they have to pop ultimates. That never happened for Yikes as they were trying to stall out against Liquid. And as you see it now, it's 5 ult 1. Here comes the Transcend. Yeah, the hangover in the middle there. XQC swinging the fist. He's got the Primer Rage going. He's trying to get the knockoff on ID there, but he can't quite get him. He's just going to have to hit him up against the wall. But he's got an Orb of Harmony on him. He's going to get healed that whole time. And now things turn around. XQC gets discorded, but he gets back to the point. Now the fight shifts to another part of the map of Linksa. Found AZK, that's the Tracer Duel being won by the Finn. And now it's going to be Shadow and Mesa caught up in the middle of a hair curve, a lot of damage, and Lynx is doing a lot of it from the fringes. They're going to come out on top of this fight, despite having the ultimate advantage was Liquid. A Pulse Bomb went for nothing, was eaten during that engagement as well, so... Liquid had this huge advantage going into that. Pop 5 in the courtyard, the fight rotated onto the point. I, they, granted, they got a lot of percentage out of that, but... They flipped the economy back in their favor, did yikes, and now it's going to be pretty much tied up during this next engagement, and as whenever Mercy's on the field, you have to be very cognizant of where she is. But as with all control maps, it's going to be good for the combo while they're holding control rather than trying to wrestle it back. Dante, and if he's watching this at his high school graduation ceremony, has to be feeling a mix of pride and also concern because Lynx is doing a very good job uh, in this particular role right now. But you can see they're going to back away a little bit here. AZK going to get mostly matrixed out of this fight now. There's going to be space. He wants to dive the back line himself, but he's taken so much damage. Now the tack is going to come in over the top here for idea. Let's see what he can find with this one. Not a lot. He has to do it from the outside. He actually gets onto space at the very least here after he got desuited, but that's the res. That was intended. But space gets res on foot, not in his suit. Pick comes over the top there with a quick barrage. It's going to be two kills before De uh, Dehang could get there with the Transcendence. That was such an important res because all the res did was bring six back to fight another six. Generally, you want to be at the advantage coming outside of the res, but with Pizza able to get a couple of them down, so it should be all over, but the crying for them. Lynx is still going to have Pulse Bomb up and it is about 5v3 Ooh. as it's desperation time to get on the point. Yeah, the bomb almost got eaten, actually. Your Shadow just turned away at the wrong time. It didn't actually amount to anything anyway, but that's Lynx of Fine's ID, Space and Zar. And that res, um, yeah, it was a 6v6 res hex, but hey, they were stalled so much. They actually had enough time to get everyone back onto the point properly. They actually had space there in a diva suit. They're looking sick right now. And Lynx is looking fantastic. Pizza's looking dominant. This is really good performance from Yikes. Yeah, I think some of the best res... Well, one of the most overlooked aspects, I think, is running a Fur Mercy combo with a D.Va on your team because then you can live through barrages because you just shoot it from the Matrix. What are you guys seeing that's really kind of interesting? Uh, start with you, Flynn. I mean, they're just protecting the Mercy a lot, and it's hard for Liquid to get in. You can tell that they're a little unsure of what they're doing. I think some of their ults are just their positioning. They've kind of been leaving each other out to dry a little bit more than I expected, but I think a lot of it has to do with them not really know how to react to this D.Va fire combo. Yeah, Ginger Pop has stayed alive uh, way, way too long, then then they're going to be able to win that. Because the longer Ginger Pop stays alive during these fights, he's been able to get res. That he's been able to get them off, and he's been able to stay alive. Well, it's going to be Farrah Mercy versus Farrah Mercy again. So this time, Liquid are going to try it a little bit themselves. No successful knockoff there for ID on the bridge, but he's going to have the healing from to hang as they go in now. Bubble drop down there, but Mesa goes down early. Again, Linkser is the culprit in the first pick off of the fight. That's huge. Now he needs to be careful. AZK is going to be looking for him, but he just gets the damage on towards to hang. Combining with Space, of course, who was credited with the kill ultimately, and that pick off is going to stop you. It looks like Yikes are defending their Mercy a lot better than Liquid are. I am rocking! 
and that's been kind of the theme of it so far. I think in these battles, and it's it's either the Fair Mercy is very good in the air and they're hitting rockets against each other and it's fun to watch, but sometimes if you're just not going to hit your midairs and you have the distance, just flicking a rocket towards the ground to help out your team, that's 100 damage onto somebody out of nowhere that can really turn a fight. So usually the first uh, Fair Mercy to do that starts bringing the fight back in their favor. AZK is very good at this, he managed to sneak in on towards a point and quickly burst down to Hun. But Lynx is going for the bigger prey, he's going for the tanks, he gets the D-suit on towards Shadow, but Space also finds himself without his mech. A great pulse bomb and Lynx finds Meza as he cleans him up, tries to jump into the air and now the hang might get pressured a little bit more here. You can see Shadow with the Bunny Blaster actually finds XQC, chases him down and gets the resuit. Not too bad, and now Liquid have a chance to keep this fight going. They should try to get back in as quickly as possible because now the big tank is off of the field and it's going to afford them a lot of space. Links are already down, so we're in a de facto 6v4 as the fight comes up. Ginger Pop going to bring them back. Yeah, good tempo res there. It's going to make sure Links is still on his feet to do some damage now. Pizza comes in with a barrage. Mezen goes down. ACK gets the stick on towards Spaces. Mech with the pulse bomb, interestingly enough. Gets the D2 successfully enough, but look at XQC now. He's getting taken very, very low despite being in primal rage there. A lot of pressure coming in from ID in that barrage. He didn't get any kills with it though. Rafa gets the boop on Ginger Pop. That's nice. Nicely done. Still, XQC is in the middle of the fight. He manages to connect eventually, but to hang in those fists, it is, of course, very fragile to try and play as that Mercy. And now Shadow thinks about backing away, but no. He's just going to zoom around the point and back his tank up. Liquid is able to bring that back just because they were more patient on their ultimates, and that is an interesting sound barrier. I think they're just trading that out for even more percentage, because Tehun uses it very late on only a few people, but they're still in control of this point, so they're just going to keep fighting back onto it. XQC still alive here, and the stagger install here has been great. Space joins in too. This should have been flipped over 25% ago. This is going to be so annoying to deal with if you're Liquid. You've actually won this fight for the last minute or so, but yet still, people are just filtering in from the side. Of yikes, they're going to be at always overtime by the time this point gets flipped back. That's disgusting. They won that fight at about, I, I want to say like 50%, where they just had a better res, they had a better support ultimates, the fight was essentially won for them, they had the numbers advantage for the longest time, and unable to finish their plate. Because of all that stall, they will have a small advantage, but there's some alts coming online for yikes as well. Oh, great knockoff from Shadow though as well. There's no way, no way that Tahun's going to be able to get back up here properly. Oh no, he does! Oh, that's nice, he actually skates around the correct direction. That's really cool. Linksa falls off the edge though, and now XQC is trying to get healed up by Ginger Pop here. He's going to have to back away because AZK is pressuring him quite hard. Pulse Bomb dropped on, but the healing's still there. Bit of a waste of Pulse Bomb now as XQC can jump back into the fight with the Primal Rage. Stall is not so important here though. Need to keep that in mind. Yikes don't want to stall. They want to take this point. They can't do it with only one Winston and a Diva. Oh, they, have, they have to do it uh, with, with pretty much a full wipe or at least a 4k. They need a huge advantage here, and what they're waiting for is to hopefully get a barrage and a resurrection. It depends what order on they want to do that in. And you're going to see the diva positioning become very important here, not only to protect barrages, but to negate barrages. So those would be the two players I've watched. AZK gets pressured earlier on there as well as XQC turning his attention in his direction and that's the barrage coming through from Zara. Not all of it was stopped there by Shadow in that D.Va. Most of it comes down, the damage done as well. ID falling to space later in the fight now. Mesa, the sound barrier up here for Liquid, but Tehun's making himself quite scarce. Ginger Pop gets in for the Reds and he gets both the Tracer and the Pharah back on their feet. That could be massive. It needs to be a decisive fight win here for Yikes. Post res though, two quick kills come off, and that's a lot of their healing and most of their tank ability as well. Now all of their healing now out of the mix. It's going to be difficult to find a way that they bring this back, but that might be it as Linkser is able to take down a couple. However, there is a Tracer on the Team Liquid side of things. He's able to come in and do some work too. So we're getting down to the last fight of it. A sound barrier again from Dehoon will bring three in on the point fight. Yeah, these reinforcements have actually been really timely. Just in time, the rest of the ice have arrived here. Now they have the man advantage on the point, and Meza knows he needs to stall, but now he's going to try and chase down the Pharaoh or the Mercy. Self-Destruct comes in from downtown, but finds absolutely nothing there, and Space is forced to stop and re-suit again. He's going to be later to this fight than the rest of his teammates. Now, XQC, he gets the primary rage. He's trying to knock ID away. He's got him so low, he chases him down and finds him, and gets another jump as well to keep himself alive. That was some nice play, but Yikes have lost their Mercy in amongst all of this action. Now they're looking to try and even the odds and find to hang. But he's keeping himself scarce. He's going to have to fall down the pit, though. Nicely done. Good boot from space. This is just insane to watch. I mean, whatever happened to fighting 6v6? This What is this, Oasis, where the fight just starts and never ends? This has been bonkers for the last five minutes or so. It's alternating red and blue in the kill feed. It's like I'm wearing 3D goggles here, the old ones. They finally... Oh, no! Yeah, they get off the... Oh... I got off the point. Yeah, it was in, the problem was is that it was in control of Liquid the whole time. Remember that. So they never managed to take it back. All that stalling was all well and good, but you need to actually cap and flip the point. Otherwise, you get booted off the point. It's as simple as that. Whether you're a decent or a diva and a tracer, 
yeah, it's not an easy one. This series is going pretty similar to the first Li Zhang match we watched with Liquid. Uh, they're not putting them, it's not making it easy for themselves going down to uh, losing the first fight in each of these rounds. But they're clawing themselves back. <laughs> I mean, that's, and it wouldn't that's, surprise that's, me to see a fifth round. They're taking the mirror comp now. They're like, okay, I don't know what to do against this. We'll just mirror it. And they wound up winning the one round that they mirrored it. I mean, you could argue that they could have gotten back on the point from Denial Last Point, or Yikes, rather, but Zahang was coming in with the res anyway, so it probably would have been their round to take. It's just, I think now Liquid is just saying, okay, you guys have a good comp. We're just going to play it, and you guys can figure out how to beat it, I guess. Well, regardless, whatever you want to say, you're still X Denial with Ringers up 2 1 in this one. It's pretty impressive nonetheless. Dun, though, finds an early uh, demise there. Doesn't quite work out. ID is going to get himself two kills over that fight, finding Ginger Pop there with the rocket. Yeah, that's very easy for them. And oftentimes, especially in North America, when you maybe have trouble with the combo, if you feel like you can run a competent combo, it is a fine answer to it. That's, you know, the mere composition that our analyst talked about is absolutely correct and they've been able to do it very well this is actually a, co a composition that liquid likes running and has run for a very long time and actually were some of the people who would run Farah even when she was out of the meta for those terrible two months I will not waste this opportunity. Yeah, that was an interesting time uh, hex i'll be honest with you now it's linkser and azk <laughs> still just teasing on opposite sides of the main point here but the most of the yikes have jived in there is the bubble still present there from xqc so a lot of shatter's damage is being nullified here he might get singled out if he's not careful you can see the xqc is looking to get that d suit early on it's going to allow pizza to do a lot more damage over the rest of this fight here and there it is azk gets a little too close he tries to dive the back line but it's a well-placed rocket from pizza to find him shadow getting desuited and promptly dispatched as well pizza's able to roam free over this fight but there's the res the res does bring them back up to full strength and nice on the comeback to kill the mercy on the other side of things that means even if this fight goes long that resurrection will not be back in here but it is still yikes getting all of the kills azk's boss bomb will d mecha diva but that is all they flip it back over at exactly 50 percent and ID is going to have to take the long trip back to the rest of his team there. The the real long way. He just gets over there. And a good fight there. You can see now those ultimates are really close to coming up on both sides. Actually, Shadow's done a lot of work in and amongst these fights. He's been actually the target of focus for XQC in a few of them. But Liquid are going to position themselves. A very quick dive in for Meta there as well. Immediate response from Tahuna. He's going to get the sound barrier up now, as will Rapper. Both teams with a bit of overshield to start this fight off here, and the damage coming in from the top. You can see ID has the freedom, the space, but he gets most of it cancelled out. The defense matrix from space was perfect. Still, Tahun falls to AZK. Linksa now needs to match him in contribution in this fight. Might be a tough one now. With the self destruct on the point, that's the res coming out from Ginger Pop. The moment they got to hang, you knew that res was just going to be his slam and Q at the exact same time. Shatter doing his best to try to bring this back has gotten himself two and a half kills here by demecking the D.Va as well. I just don't think they have the horses or the body count down here to be able to flip this back over. They do not. So Rice, nice uses of alts there too. And for the interesting thing about Yikes to me is that they, they will use alts to bring it up 6v6, but with a an immediate plan in action to get the kills post-resurrection. Yeah, and that worked really nicely as well, that Linksa and XQC and Dahoom with the last three alive as well. The, between the three of them, they managed to quite handily dispatch the remainders of Liquid now. So we're at just over even. It's 67% here for Yikes. Liquid need to make a move. They've got a pulse bomb for AZK. So that's where we will probably see this fight opened up in general. He needs to connect it in a big way here. We need to avoid the Diva. He gets the stick. He's going to get a lot of damage on towards the Diva. Not quite a decent suit yet. And there it is. It's going to be Shattuck getting kicked out. Oh, no. Space getting kicked out of his mech, should I say. Classic. Classic fight, of course. And Shattuck now on the point. Links it gets a pulse bomb stick on towards Mezzo, though, as well. He picks him up. Mezzo was already low enough to be felled by that one. Well, to hang, we're just going to use the resurrection just to try to ensure that this fight goes their way. They've been unable to get the full cleanup, but I thought ID should be getting a lot more work done. As soon as that Diva's out of the mix, it's kind of open uh, season for him. And Zaz going to come in and get a triple on this barrage. Well, yeah, get the D suit on. Get the, yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. Trust me. It, it's fine. It's it's key deal. It's, it, it's fine. Nicely done, though. That's important as well to get that D suit. Surprisingly, it actually happened after the barrage came down. So neither of these teams are really worrying about that too much, but that's going to be it. the miracle. There from the hang, but it won't amount to much at this stage. And Space and XQC should preemptively be taking Shuttle, and that's exactly where they go immediately. Space is already up there. They both have escapes. They can kind of just sit out there. You don't want to let ID sit up there with Tahang. We yeah. saw that last time. That's a lesson you have to learn. Maybe they'll get evicted up here, but I like that they're taking the prerogative. Yeah, this time Liquid didn't have a chance to stall and let their team get back in these defensive positions. So, the dive comes in into the back line. There's three players there. Linkser as well is going to be part of that trio, and he's doing a lot of work. He's onto Rafa early on here, and not only a Liquid not being allowed to set up on the high ground, the back line is being cut out from under them. 
I don't have any healing. This uh, is very difficult as Yikes did lose both of their supports very early, but despite that, they get a triple kill of their own, gonna be able to trade out. It's only Mezzer 1v4 down here. Yes, he has Primal Rage, but a thousand HP against four people will not last that long. It's only 250 a person to have to do if everyone chips in properly, and they're gonna continue getting some push. But you saw the effect of the healers not being there for Liquid there. They actually got a couple picks on their own. I mean, like Shatter and AZK were able to do it, but then as soon as the DPS players for Yikes got there, they just got completely crushed. No healing, no sustainability, no nothing. Now, XQC gets knocked off the high ground, but he jumps straight back on up. Again, at Shatter and ID individually finding kills themselves, and Pizza just being forced to run away, and eventually he's going to get caught. Space getting bionated there by Dehang, AZK fighting two, and it's all pretty straightforward for Liquid to actually win that fight. This is often a spot where you'll see teams defensively finally able to stabilize. Space is getting staggered in a terrible, terrible way. They will not even do a bit of damage onto him. He's still back there, finally goes down. Beautiful stagger. Yeah, that's really nasty now as well. The, the, the bonus part is, at least for Yikes, once he comes back, there'll be a mech there. So that's kind of the trade-off. If you escape in Mini Diva 4, then you kind of want to die anyway because you need the mobility. You know, Bunny Blast is you know, cute and all, but you need to do some real damage here. So they'll wait for space. They're happy enough to do that. He's actually going to have a self-destruct, and that's going to not only help him with the damage, but also to, to heal up in a pinch. But oh, how are you going to heal against that? Shatter comes in, get three quick kills, one with the dash, and that's the fourth. This is what I'm saying. Death, taxes, and Shatter getting mad multi-kills when he gets nano boosted. Those things are the things you can count on when you're watching Team Liquid. I can't even say how much I think Shatter is a good pickup for this team because uh, <laughs> Flames Discord will make fun of me. And I'm sorry, but I'm not wrong. I am just not wrong. It's been a whole different team. I was able to watch them the week that they picked him up, and it's been beautiful for him. And now they still have the problem of having been stabilized. Now they have control of the shuttle, and this is just their lockout mode. Yeah, so you have the DV, you have the Winston. So we're going to see Yikes probably have similar issues to what we saw L uh, LG Evil have in access in the high ground. You've got to make a difficult decision. Losing links are early, fight's already over. Pulse Bomb on towards space makes him quite low. Pizza can do work with his tactical visor, but Liquid are cutting off a lot of those sight lines. He managed to get the drop on ATK, and that might be the difference maker, but you can see that Liquid are investing late into this fighter sound barrier. They believe they can win a sick fighter grenade from Ginger Pop, though, makes it very easy to cut through that overshield. Meza lands on Pizza. So that's a really big pick off there in this fight and it's going to allow Liquid at least to hang around a little bit longer. AZK and Shadow get back, continuing to fight. Ginger Pop gets picked out of the mix of, of the tank, which is quite nicely done. And now Mezzi can stall this payload for a long time in space. Use that bubble, make life hard. It's just been very back and forth. Reinforcements were giving advantage to Liquid at the early part of it. Another late sound barrier for Dahoon, and I don't think it's late necessarily in the way we think of it, but a lot of times he's very comfortable sound barriering three or four people. They really understand when they have an actual advantage and are good at locking it out. You saw him do it all the time on Lijon, but now Liquid comes back into it a little bit. We'll give up the point though. Yeah, AZK was supposed to blink on there. He was a microsecond too late. The payload managed to get towards the end, and now it may as well just be dive, dive in and die if you're liquid here. Just go for it. You know you're going to have to regroup. At least you know now you're not going to get a bad sort of split spawn. But for, uh, for Zar, yeah, he has to go off. Oh, ID, sorry. He had to go off the edge. Yeah. It's just the price you pay on Gibraltar, I suppose. The, you know, bodies for the drowned god out there in the sea. There's always people getting split spawned here. And now looking pretty decent as they're able to take the high ground early on. Obviously you saw LG Evil hold this high ground on defense very good. So most of Gibraltar is just a battle over these like halfway points through the map with high ground. Here comes a nano blade though. Yeah, Shadows is going to kill everyone again. It's sort of getting boring at this point now. He's managed to find Linkser in this one swing to kill that Tracer. AZK got Bionated there, but still managed to find space. It was a quick recall out of that one. And that's pretty nice. Good response from Dahang. He's very, very good at making sure his team benefits from that mate uh, as much as possible. And Shadow even getting killed without a Dragon Blade. That's the new. It's probably not getting boring for Shatter, but uh, yeah, his second verse, same as the first here. When Shatter gets that blade out, he's been able to get three to four kills more often than not. And if it's not always the blade, it's his initiation and then the cleanup afterwards. The silver lining here for Yikes is that they've got nearly everything that they want online. And if the fight goes long enough, they will even sound barrier it. Yeah. Shadow and Messi kind of got caught together. They were forced to drop off the high ground, and Zark gets taken down there. ID doesn't find a heck of a lot there at all for his tactical visor, but now he can sit safely in the back lines and just blink away. That self destruct won't affect him, drops him behind the payload. Now he's going to have to deal with space at the moment, but the hang and ID between the two of them across this map are actually on opposite sides of the fight and giving a good account of themselves as they go. 
a boosted scientist does not get a whole lot done there from yikes but it was smart for xqc to not pop primal rage there was going to be nothing getting done there now they're going to have a couple of combinations they can maybe work with we do see that za has switched over to the roadhog of all things so they're going to go a little tank heavier but watch linkser here see if he can initiate with a pulse bomb we're going to see what he can do he gets around the backside at the very least here now the sound barrier going to be favoring the side of yikes here going to make it easy for linkser to go deeper but he's saving his pulse bomb now he uses it Mesa, there's no way you're escaping that one and he made sure he did that extra initial bit of damage to ensure it shadow though coming with the dragon blade here won't be another boost this time or will it no he's going to go through anyway and see what he can get so far very little he's just got a bunch of tanks to try and contest with and that's the thing there's now triple tank comp from yikes so it's going to be a little bit hard to cut through but they get it done anyway ID will turn that visor on towards the end of his Cyclops vision turns everything red in his eyes. Ginger Pop's gonna come in and just try to stall it out, but if they don't get a couple kills here, which is difficult to do against some of the DPS and the position that Liquid has, that cart will be stalled right there, top bend before completion. Score. Well, gentlemen, what do you think? That's uh, quite a decent stop there from Liquid. Switching sides. I mean, they had a plan, they stuck with it, right? They had Mezzer delaying the cart, they had AZK delaying the cart, they tried their best to delay the cart, and then eventually, they, every, like, I don't know, two minutes, they would just nano boost the Genji and get a team wipe. It was <laughs> pretty, it was very clean cut, and they had a, they executed it very well, but at, at its base, it was pretty fundamental. I think that there were a few fights where AZK had a huge impact. He wound up, I think, taking on mech suits, he took 1v1s with Blinkster that went well for him. And there was just not enough time in the game for D Denial to come back from that. Yeah, for me, I want to see what Denial, or rather Yikes, is going to be running on offense here. Uh, their 2-2-2 two, two, two worked okay. Uh, maybe a little bit is that Ginger Pop is not running Zen, which is more traditionally what we've seen with this 2-2-2 two, two, two with the Diva and, and the Wins. And maybe we will have uh, Z go to Hog sometime on, off, uh, on this if it doesn't work out. I'll just be stunned if they don't end up running Diva and Winston. I think it's just, it's so mandatory, at least at second point on this map. I just don't see a composition where you can do well with only one of them or with zero of them. I think just there's so many times where you have to at least scoop a team off of high ground. So I'd be surprised if you don't see Space and XQC stay on the heroes they're on. I wouldn't be surprised. Defensively set up, things seem pretty cut and dry. Yikes. However... We've seen Liquid go with some interesting plays here, and, uh, you know, ID, he's not necessarily opposed to busting out that uh, Widowmaker every now and then, but it's good to see the Genji still in the, in the lineup here. I, I don't know. I, I think he's got too much stopping power, too much uh, too much impact on the attacking side, especially to really overlook at this stage, but he won't be getting those nano boosts. Yeah, so I, I'm sorry, I got the colors a little confused up here. I'm just still shaking the rust off today, but I do think at some point we'll see. We'll see how the momentum goes, but Shatter will be the one to watch. You don't want to necessarily take him off of Genji, but they might need a D.Va somewhere in here. Of course, ID opening up on the Widow. We'll see if he can find her. At least it buys him some. Wow. That works. Oh, it's so sweaty, dude. Holy crap. He just flicked <laughs> on the woods to Clint. I'm out of my seat. That was a really nice opening there. We'll see if it amounts to much. Sorry, I didn't mean to run on your parade there. I just couldn't contain no, no. the reaction. Sometimes there's nothing to say when Lucio gets boinked like that from across the map. ID is going to create a lot of space for his team, and the thing is, he's going to require one of these tanks to get out there and come deal with them. So XQC is going to dive in, and they're going to try to counter him a little bit. They put a little bit of pressure on him. He has to get out of there, but Shatter does not see the Tracer creeping up on him. ID, oh. though, still gets another shot. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. ID now is going to be pressured down there. See, Links are actually managed to uh, pressure down Shatter as well, so he's giving a good account of himself getting to get on that Tracer and getting into that back line. ID finally falls and we can see actually over on the payload there's really not much to be said there. The defensive setup for Yikes has, has paid off for the time being and now ID switching over to the 76. Which is always tragic that there's just some point where you just can't run Widow anymore. You want to surprise teams a little bit and now they're going to be playing around those sight lines at least for the first life until they see there's going to be no more Widow. And we'll see where they want to set up here. They might just try to rush past and go into server room. You don't really want to take this fight right here. And yeah, both tanks sitting pretty far back for Yikes, just letting the offense come to them. All right, let's see what the plan's going to be. XQC standing on the payload. Doesn't really want to move until he sees his backline under threat. Now he's trying to chase down Shatter. He finds him as well. There's not much again you can do about that. For a moment there, it seemed as if Meza was put to sleep, but he was woken up immediately. Now he's going to try and chase him towards Pizza. But Liquid have control of the payload. Space needs to come back down, but he's already discorded. Linkset really needs to take some attention away. Space gets ATK though. Playing up nice and close. Meza's still on the high ground and ready to drop down here. Pizza now off on that high ground as well, just trying to spray a little bit down. Now he's going to get the nano boost coming through. 
through, looking for Raphael on the payload, having to chase him around, but he finds him in space amongst all of this, finds Meza, completely shreds that Winston to bits, and XQC even, even has a chance to stretch his legs now, and just set up a bit further forward. And there's nothing you can do about a nano visor at that point. You only I have one shield charging. up for your entire team. Maybe Shatter can get in there and do some deflect and persuade him to go elsewhere with it, but without a diva, a nano visor is going to eat your team alive a lot of the time. Oh, not much progress being made here for Liquid, if I've been honest. It's been a pretty good defense here, and it might be even better. Zhang now going to go into the Transcendence over the fight, but Chatter's already found that one Dragon Blade kill. It might just be the one for the moment here. He doesn't have the Nano Boost, and it's going to prevent him from doing as much damage as he otherwise would have liked. That was nice from Dublin. Sitting back with his backline, receiving the dive, and then bending back and breaking it like a sapling in the breeze. It's ATK and Mesa on the payload now. He's going to get split apart. Space has other ideas. He's trying to get to the Mega, but Mesa catches him before he does that. But Mesa, in doing so, loses the rest of the fight. He gets picked off by Linkser as he comes back to the payload, and one minute remains here for Liquid. Well, they've made a change. Uh, time will tell if it is the correct change, as Shatter has gone off of the Genji. He's going to be on Roadhog instead, though, so maybe the answer to a boosted visor is to hook him, and hope that you hit that hook. Right now, trying to deal with XQC, finds him in the corner! Dead. That is a huge pick. And there's nothing you can do about that. XQC is not to know that there's going to be a Roadhog in the mix here, and Shatter just did what anyone would do in that position. AZK's managed to penetrate up to the back lines here. He recalls just in time to avoid getting slept, but now the sound barrier is there. Meza and AZK connect like a Mack truck to the face. There's not much that we can really do on the payload there, and space, of course, is next to last. The tiniest morsels of him will remain, and it will be Liquid finally getting somewhere. That first pick really helped him now. XQC can only just come back and stall a bit. That first pick was enormous. See the good things that can happen for you if you just check your corners? They go through there, they look immediately to their left, hook and delete the Winston. They got nothing out of it, snowball it from there. Now, of course, the momentum of the second fight in the shuttle phase is going to be interesting to watch. Some members of Yikes are already in pretty solid position up here. Yeah, I mean, and you can see the AZK is trying to make sure they kind of can't set up properly, but you can only really harass at this stage. You can't prevent them from accessing that shuttle in the top side of it here. So Zara's actually going over towards the Roadhog as well. So both teams with the Roadhog now, and you can see now an attempt at getting in the face for Meza. Really paying off there. It's a bit of a chaotic fight, but oh my across the payload, get Rex, son. Oh you can't do anything God. about that. That's filthy. You in my I still don't understand the length of Roadhog's hook. I feel it's infinite, or just he wills it to be longer, because that was a max range hook. An enormous hook from Zod to open this up, but everyone's getting very low. Yeah, it's going to be self destruct here. This could be nasty. Oh, Shatter, can he get away? No, he can't. He was busy using the whole hog, and he can't move very well when that's happening. Now it's going to be Rafa and Meza on the payload, at least. Dehun's in the back. He's going to keep the one contested, and it's now Links are in space, and to do a lot of damage. They can't cut through the Transcendence, though. That's the problem. Good timing from Dehang. That might be the fight winner. He then turns around after the Transcendence and finds Dehun. Space being corralled off on this payload here in Gingerpop. All of a sudden, attention going towards him. He tries to keep uh, his deeper inside the suit, but Space gets completely busted out of that one now. And it might be a matter of Liquid collapsing inside the shuttle here, as Shadow was thinking about it. Yeah, really nice for him. Yeah, you can play a little bit like a tank sometimes with your Genji just getting up there with the deflex. A beautiful pulse bomb comes in, and it has just been raining on the Yikes parade nonstop. And you're right, that very late transcend to keep three people alive and win the fight was great. The sound barrier might be a little questionable, but I've yes. watched Rafa stream Quake, and I think he's brilliant. So who am I to judge? <laughs> okay, uh, fair enough. <laughs> Oh, that, you're gonna get named on for that one, you know. That's fine, anyway. I don't care. Watch his stream and tell me he's not brilliant. Three on the payload. Four, in fact, now, as uh, Liquid's going to make their way forward. See what I did there? I just let that go. The Golden Square of Victory is not too far away, though. Liquid's going to make their way forward here. That hook could have been deadly, but it doesn't connect for pizza. Now the whole hog's going to come in, though, as well. A lot of dive. Even XQC gets himself the Nano Boost, but gets taken down. Discord Orb is a thing. The hang connects. Lovely. ID has at least some safe positioning up on that high ground there, and this is actually going to force a disengage now from... Yikes, they've kind of done all they can do. They need to drop back on the payload when enemies are there. And they're not going to be in position to really hold around the corner and try to get the snipes and just based on where this box is, they're going to have to be aggressive whenever they see an opening, and that's exactly what they do. Able to take down Mezzer, though, that's going to uh, completely nerf this first push here. 90 seconds to go, about 10 meters. Easy K taking out Lynx is nice help. Here comes Shadow. 
Yeah, Dragon Blade coming through for him. He gets into the back line, but he's hooked immediately. Pizza shuts him down. Unfortunately, he's already lost his tank line. Space gets desuited, and Dahun fell down. Now it's going to be the primal range out for XQC, but he's been pressured. The Discord orders making it hurt so much. Pizza gets knocked off of the Golden Square, and Lynx now has to dash in. He looks for Dahang. He sticks the Pulse Bomb. Brilliant. Now he's going to have to make his way back, though. XQC was already felled by AZK's Pulse Bomb, but Pizza gets back in. Now the Nana boost for Lynxa doesn't quite keep him alive. The Helix Rocket connects and takes him down. It's going to be Pizza the Hood Space on the payload. Ginger Pop supporting from behind. Meza surely gets cut down here, but ID and Shadow can't heal. That's the problem. They do damage, but no healers to keep them alive on that payload, and that's the reason why Yikes can push them back. Sound barrier now, and the fight may well continue. It does look like it. I think ID needed to make his target transition earlier to take down Ginger Pop because they were fighting about even numbers, but the healing in the back line was keeping those tanks so alive. Winston just not able to do enough, and even Soldier 76 helping him not able to do enough. If he could have swung that kill onto Ginger Pop earlier, it might have been there, but now we're entering our last fight over. Yeah, and Liquid have to go for this. There's no other choice. XQC goes to the high ground here, but show the Shadow. He's hoping to get a Dragon Blade for this fight, but he doesn't quite have it. Now he's got it. He'll be ready to go. Sound Barrier comes out as well for Liquid. Shadow goes straight in, finds Juju Pop immediately. No Anna healing, and ID finds Dahun. Both supports are down already for Yikes in this fight, and this has got to be a cleanup for Liquid, especially with the Transcendence for Dahang. That's just win more, and at this stage, that's all they need. They're meters away from finishing this one off, and that's it. Pete's the last one standing. Doesn't matter if you can pick off if you're on your own, and Liquid get it done. Rapper and AZK yet again over there. And not much to be done. AZK with three kills over the fight, eventually picking off Ginger Pop. So ground war pretty much decided what the Fair Mercy war was going to end up as too. If you lose everyone on the ground, it becomes 2v6 and you're going to be in trouble. I don't care how good your combo is in this guy. And it's exactly what you saw there. And now they're in the great spot where they get to hang out over the, the pharmacy hallway. Might as well just have that sign of it over there and just wait for the entry to come in. And they're going to see which angles they want to take. A nice pulse bomb going to take out the Winston from this fight right away from AZ. It has to be an immediate disengage. At least there's not much more Liquid can get in this fight. They can't chase any more kills. It was a fairly rapid disengage from Yikes. I managed to back away from that one, so it's no harm, no foul. But now they have to wait a little bit longer. Would have been longer if they'd lost more in that fight, of course. They need XQC and getting impulse bomb. It just happens, right? It's like, okay, he's, he's just gonna he's gonna die. We just need to wait. Well, ID did eat a damage boosted rocket on the way in, and Pizza gets aggressive on him, comes over the top and shuts him down. And Raz will bring him back. Yep, ID now going to get up into the air. Doesn't quite have his support there. The hang does find him. It's going to be a sound barrier out here for Liquid. He gets in pizza and space are both so low. ACK again doing work on the ground. It's almost as if Yikes pay too much attention to what's happening in the sky and don't get the real groundwork done. But now, as you see, at least gets himself a little bit of time in the sun, or at least some time to stay alive with the rest of his team, and that might be important because Pizza's still at large. Now the barrage is going to come in. Shatter didn't have his defense matrix available in a timed out, so Pizza got all the damage he ever could have wanted. But AZK is still a threat on the ground. The Pulse Pump doesn't catch on to anyone, though, but AZK now needs to make himself scarce. He's three people looking for him, and eventually XQC is going to shut him down. The hang, not going to last much longer, nor is Rafa. Look at the triple kill, we've about 80% on the side of Liquid when it finally flips over 78 to be fully accurate. It's going to be so frustrating for ID right now because he's hitting a lot of his initial midairs. The problem is with the Mercy Alive, you need to hit two out of three because the time that fourth rocket comes down, if you've missed your subsequent two, it's already healed up beyond the range of another rocket. So it's very difficult to win these fights, just pure midair shots. Mezzer and Shadow are going to go in, and AZK gets himself up to the high ground as well, but he's forced to drop down. He gets knocked away. Sandberry now used for Yikes, and that helps in a big way, but it's not enough to keep the Hoon alive. He's focused down by that, that Tracer. Now an ID trying to go for a barrage. He was going to die to Zar, or he's going to die to the self-destruct. Either one, and it was Zar that found him. Now Dahang has to back away. He doesn't have a Farrah to support anymore, but AZK is still threatening on the point. He's still keeping it stalled out, and it's extreme long range for a Tracer, but he manages to pick off Pizza in the air. Now Shadow and Rapper actually have some support trying to come back onto the point, and Shadow gets the D-suit on space. Super crucial now, especially if AZK wants to get extra damage to clean this fight up. It might be a turnaround for Liquid here. The stall needs to be pretty good for Yikes, but it doesn't last as long as it otherwise would have. Now able to get Mez back in there was going to spell the end of that one. And now Liquid in a pretty good spot to be able to hold this through the end. They've got both support ultimates available. And of course, the ordering matters a little bit. It just really depends. I'm a huge fan of using the sound barrier after resurrection because oftentimes people are going to be res in unideal situations. 
Yeah, I mean, Who's we're going to need to see that come out here for Yikes in this fight if it starts badly for them. But it starts well. The hang actually goes down. Both Mercies are down. The Ginger Pop's not going to be there to supply the aforementioned Reds. At least there's a sound barrier for Rapid though for Liquid. That's going to help him weather the storm of these rockets coming down. An ID gets the job done. He finds uh, he manages to connect with that rocket. A Pulse Bomb on XQC, but he gets that Primer Rage just in time to keep him alive. Rapid finds a 1v1 duel up against his opposite opponent there on the Lucio. Shadow 2K gets the D suit on space. That's going to hurt. Now ID has a lot more room to breathe, a lot more rockets to connect. Links are desperately trying to get away from the rocket damage, but he can't. Mez is going to be there as well, but there's the res. A really nice res, and now we got to keep eyes on Dehang to see if he can counter res this back in their favor. XQC goes down there, so the most of their ground force is now being picked apart. Kindred goes down yet again, and unless linkser has got a miracle in his pocket, it's not going to be able to do it for them. Full team dead, and Liquid will take the first stage. Had some uh, brutal fighting there. Uh, it'd be quite interesting actually to see that ID had a very, very good round, unless I'm mistaken, analyst. I mean, Dang's getting res a lot faster than Ginger Pop on average, and a lot of the times I think Ginger Pop died were him getting very, very close. Or he, he like, I think his first res was forced because he only had just gotten it. His second one, he didn't get off. He got to 100 and instantly died. I think Shatter is being such a crucial part of them killing Ginger Pop on this map in particular. I think Li Zhang kind of plays to their strength of having Ginger Pop hide a little bit more. These maps are a little bit more open, and it's allowing Liquid to get in there. I think that their focus priorities are just a lot better right now. Mez are also continuing to open up a lot of the space for Liquid. And AZK uh, is continuing to have a great series and phenomenal chaser play. Has been good so far, there's no doubt about it. He was, you know, three kills in the first two or three fights. I think that really helped set things up nicely for Liquid. Gotta be much the same here. No real big changes to speak of. Again, it's gonna be the pharmacy jewels that will be highlighting this round over in the air. And AZK and Lynx are gonna have to get, again, the groundwork done those supports picked off if they can, especially those Lucios. But now over the point, again, a little bit of early damage on towards ID and Rafa. Even Mess is quite damaged up. All of Liquid are actually feeling the burn right now, and they've got to be careful. That healing needs to be coming pretty soon. That's the pick-off, though. Shadow finds XQC. He's going to go very low himself, but there's no one there to defend Dehun. He goes down. Now it's a 5v4, 6v4, in fact. Links with Dehun need to bring it back. Well, Ginger Pop just tiptoed right through the roses. He ate a rocket early, but then ended up flying through the Matrix, which ate the second rocket, which was bound towards him. Him staying alive just that much longer gets everyone topped off. Gets Pizza back to better health, who's able to get a 2K of his own. Eventually, ID will go down to Za as well, who owns air superiority for the moment. Yeah, AZK at least able to farm himself up a pulse bomb, but Linksa has one as well, and Za's going to be having a barrage come down pretty darn soon. You can see that he's managed to farm that up a lot quicker than ID was, especially with those three kills to cap it off at the end. That barrage will be crucial here, and it's also about getting potentially Shadow D suited before that one comes through to secure maximum damage. But now it's going to be Liquid pushing back in onto the point. Again, Faris take to the sky. Zar trying to line up ID there, and Mez is going to jump straight on him as well. The Hood able to avoid him for now, but XQC again reciprocates with the dive. He's chasing Dahang, he's looking for him, and that's the barrage to come through. Dahang goes down, but Zar gets nothing for his ultimate. And a completely whipped pulse bomb there by Linkser, who was going for the Mercy. It's a hard target to connect on. She can be elusive at the best of times. The Resurrection will come back, and they get two on the counter play here. Shatter is demeched and deleted momentarily, and this will be Yikes able to hold on to this point. Yeah, really comfortable hold for them, actually. It, it, despite Zar actually not getting very much from that, that barrage at all, the rest of his team were able to step up. Now XQC has the very annoying Primal Rage. Mez is going to have his for the next fight as well, so expect the viewers to get even more chaotic shatter that's really nasty you got there was that a boop off the map i'm not sure into the traffic I, you'd have to think because to being able to get that many rockets onto a diva that far i did not actually have my eyes specifically on it so regardless it's really going to slow down the next push the silver lining for liquid of course is that the reason they lost the last fight is they got rezzed on but dehang's gonna have res of his own they're gonna have everything six ults up AZK decided against continuing his duel against Lynx and now to join the rest of his team in this fight. And again, it had to be the Primal Rage Force from XQC because he got Pulse Bomb stuck by AZK. But he gets revenge. He gets into the back line and finds Dehang. What a beautiful opening for him. And Dehang had the Resurrect. Now the Sound Burger needs to be drawn out of Liquid to keep them going in this fight. But the Self Destruct secures Rapper. All the ultimates are actually no. really coming up yeah. trumps here right now for Yikes. This is beautiful stuff. And they should win the round off this. They needed that res. There's no other way about it. They needed that res. This is a map 
warrior. It's brawlier than some of the other control maps. People are able to reinforce quickly. You're going to need an overwhelming advantage. The good thing is this stallout has come out enough that they might get a res in this fight no matter what. If they can just touch the point, they've got the people out there to do it. There's oh, res. That's big. It's shattering to hang getting back up on their feet. That's, uh, that makes a big deal there as well. To hang obviously able to get that big res, but Linksa was quick to respond. He already picked off the hang. He was actually so far up in the air and he went down. Like, ID tries to go for a very close barrage, but gets cut down by Zaya. Rocking from behind, and now that's a Res, a bit more of a tempo res at this stage for Yikes, but that's going to get the job done. One apiece here, and this, continuing the trend of the night, gentlemen, has been a scrappy display. Score. One. I think, I I mean, I would have been expected this outcome. I think at that stage in particular is the one that Yikes always performs well on, so I don't want to say it's a throwaway for them, but I think Liquid has to win on this stage and hope that they don't get that exact same one in the overtime rounds or the following rounds, rather. Well, Liquid will have a switch up here uh, on this stage. I mean, Jax is going to stay true. If they lose, if they end up losing first fight, it's going to be very difficult to retake against the Zen. Yeah, that's right. But obviously, it could also be hard to uh, to get back in as that Zen, especially if it can be easily picked off. We've seen what Rob420 was able to do early in the night and to hang to a lesser degree is actually get those massive picks early on in the fight. There's an element of risk associated with Dahang going for this pick, and there won't be a res available, but again, ID on that Soldier 76 can try and defend him as much as possible. Yeah, and Shatter should be able to at least mitigate some of the damage from Zaha would have come in over the top. Dahang gets those picks because he's just such a master at the charge shot and knows his angles and just able to right-click his enemies down. So far, a little bit of poke for the dude is going to dive in. Yeah, it's just the tanks for the moment, they're getting in there, but now Lynx has managed to join them on this dive for Yikes. The hang gets taken down, that was kind of the main objective there, so their healing's going to be lacking from that department, but they've committed so much to this, and the tanks, Meza and Shadow, have been able to make this far more punishing. Duhun finds AZK, I'm not actually sure how that happened, he was sitting back on the point, and that gives Lynx a lot more room to work now, he doesn't have to worry about being harassed by an opposite tracer, he can go to work on trying to burst down Meza, and he does do that just before Duhun goes down to the test arrive. I think Space was able to get another mech back, because he went down very early in that engagement, but able to stay alive and get his mech back. And now it's Linkser on the cleanup crew. Linkser, the trash man, taking it out towards the end. And, you know, Shatter on this Diva has been less than impressive on the last stage oh, and beginning on this stage. I've seen his name in the kill feed far too often, and that's not just because he has the two life mechanic. <laughs> Perhaps not on the right side of it is uh, more the main <laughs> right. issue there. All right, so. Let's see what else Zan can now do, of course. He's essentially got air superiority, to a degree, and we've seen that he's confident to play it on the more enclosed maps. We saw it on uh, Command Center as well, on, on Li Zhang Tower, or Control Center, should I say. So, barrage available. Let's see how this goes. He's looking for the hang in the back line. Doesn't want to get picked off, but he's already lost XQC. He was felled by a pulse bomb, and that was the tempo risk now coming back up to try and keep the tank alive. For the side of Yikes, Bizarre gets a lot of that barrage cancelled out. That was pretty underwhelming. They insta-res XQC, but then the supports combined for headshots. There was Rafa and Dahang, both had red arrows going to their enemies, combined for 3k on the headshots, a full team wipe comes out after that, and that's just pure mechanics that they brought that fight back from, and now they're going to be able to have a small ultimate advantage, and this is good for them holding. It can be difficult for the Pharaoh to get back in here, especially against ID, and I think ID, if he sees an, uh, an area, just pops the visor on just that. He's going to use it now, but he's actually being aggressed on two by space right now. He kind of wasted that tactical yeah. visor. It got cancelled out, and then he got taken down by the Diva right close. Bit of a weird choice. Maybe a panic one. Maybe he didn't expect it. But either way, he gives his life away quite cheaply. Ginger Pop oh, somehow stayed alive for just a little bit longer than I expected him to, but eventually goes down to AZK. But in doing so, AZK committed so heavily to that. The Pulse Bomb is a parting gift to get rid of XQC, but it was taken down by space. Yikes now have control. They keep that lead going. They've got big ultimates in the bag, a self-destruct, a sound barrier, and a Pulse Bomb. It, I, it just seemed like an interesting response to use the visor right in there. Space came right in on him. Maybe that he was already popping it, and then Space came around the corner, but it was right into the D.Va right there. So they're going to switch it up. They're actually going to throw a Roadhog into this mix. It's going to be ID on that, and I think it's a good call to be able to deal with XQC jumping and even to get Space out of there in certain times. Uh, ID's first hook doesn't quite connect, though. He's hoping for something, but now the Samba are going to come out. The Ice is going to exacerbate this fight even further. Interesting self-destruct positioning there. I believe the shield from Meza prevented most of that from coming through, and Linkser was able to get the pulse bomb kill. Pizza now is up in the air. He needs to avoid the Roadhog cooks, but apart from that, he's probably going to be pretty confident just to lay down more damage. AZK was his first victim. He's got the Mercy there for damage boost. ID gets caught up with space. He goes for the hook, and now the rest comes in to get XQC back on his feet. 
Yeah, and one of the problems, I think, too, is look at Linkser just being a terror anyway. He's going to take down ID. I think the, the biggest issue I have with adding in a third tank is you're just going to give Linkser even more pulse bomb, but he's been running wild on the ground. Desperation time for Liquid as they jump both tanks in early. Yeah, that's the Barrage coming through here as well, and Shatter has to get up in Zar's face, but Zar's actually not killing himself with the rockets this time. Shatter actually gets himself desuited there for a noble cause, but it wasn't quite what he would have hoped for. ID's had to switch back to the Soldier 76 now. The hang gets caught out. Pulse bomb. Lisa just went, went for him straight away. The entirety of Liquid were in disarray. They had no choice but to come forward. He was out of position. AZK just jumps over, gets killed as soon as he arrives. Meza has Primal Rage, so this will stall for a little bit of time, and that might allow Shatter to actually get back onto this point with a quick boost. That's a nice self-destruct, though. That was really nice placed at the end by space prevented shatter from getting to the point it's two to one here and again this is just back and forth stuff really aggressive fighting but again those pulse bombs from links are pretty instrumental in some of those cases what do you think of the switch up to roadhog there slasher desperation something that liquid likes to run what was it supposed to answer i mean it's good at shutting down the diva and the winston but it is a little bit too late I think. I mean, they, they, they just try to make something happen at the very end. The switch to Zen to beginning, I thought, might have worked. And they had an opportunity once they took over the point. But then Dehang dies early on in that fight. ID dies next, and they were never able to bring it back. Hello. Yeah, I think Linkster had way too much of an impact. And I don't, I don't know. I haven't really seen Dehang Zen be super impactful. I think he died with Transcendence last round when they were trying to defend yeah. the point. And it wound up really hurting them in terms of their defense. So. We'll yeah. see what happens. It's not been working out, Flame. I think it's pretty safe to say. Now we switched over. Remember, this is a match point now for Yikes. They win this round, they're going to win it out completely. It's going to get interesting though if Liquid brings it back. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Now it's been traded out though. Ginger Pop goes down, but for Meza, that's a decent trade actually for Yikes. And losing XQC though doesn't really help their issue here. It's going to be ID now up in the sky again with the hangout with a pressure down. It's only Space and Links are on the point at this stage. Quite isolated, quite alone. Zav is on the side of the map for most of that fight. I'm not sure what he was trying to contribute. A much better <clears throat> stance, while ID will go down now, but I liked how he played this opening salvo of this stage better than he did the first time. I was on his POV the first time, and they were a mile away from everything. He played this one much more aggressive, got over top on the bridge, able to get everyone onto the low ground, and yeah, he got some nice rockets early. I guess, you know, Zog gets one late, but he was pretty much a non-factor into it, and I think yeah. the aggression from the pharmacy combo is nice to see from Liquid. I mean, Zard did clean him up from like across the map with a rocket. That, that's pretty nutty stuff. But now he's going to try and work away at his shield. Zard notices that Shatter is behind him actually, but he just turns around. Oh, fade away rocket. It's so, just so casual, really. Laissez faire, if you will. Zard almost up to his next uh, barrage. And he's just putting so much damage into this fight. Rapper's not going to survive long enough. Zard gets the reload. He gets the finish off. Now he's going to go deal with ID. Gets a little bit close for comfort though, but ID is a sliver of health remaining. And Linksy comes in and cleans him up. Oh, here's the thing Ginger Pop has gotten bonked two times very early in these fights and you can tell based on the ultimate percentages here he's now getting it back up to like 60 or 70 but to hang almost was able to clutch it back out god that charge is fast he was at 50 a second ago looks like they're both gonna have res in this next fight uber yeah, uh, we'll be interested to see how that actually comes into play when they're used. Of course, the timing is everything when it comes to those reses. Dehun and Lynx are up on the high ground for the moment. Lynx is looking for his opportunity to drop down and deliver that pulse bomb. Now he's definitely looking for his target. But he managed to find Shadow without using that one. That's pretty big, but he sees Rapper as well. He wants to go through. The reses come through, and that's what he saved the pulse bomb for. The stick not quite there, but still, he gets the kill on Shadow. He was just using his tactical visor. Shadow got completely shut down on that Soldier 76. Now Lynx is looking for more. Dang's very low. He gets taken down by Space, who's up in the air, and Lynx is down the bottom. It's a sandwich. Not the good one you want to be in. And Linksa now has so much room to breathe, so much damage to do, and it's looking like a very good fight here. For, for... What? What? I just, it's, it's a sandwich you just want to be in. Just think Sometimes that you're you want to be in a sandwich. I, I ice cream completely sandwich, agree. Example. Exactly. Well, this is where Yikes is going to start taking this over, because the resurrection from Liquid Last Life got very, very little. I think it was a solo res onto Shatter, but they just rest him underneath Za anyway, and now they're always going to be behind the eight ball as far as the resurrections go, unless they can find a way to get Ginger Pop, which has been ID's specialty early. We are entering an ultimate battle here, but they're going to initiate with the Sound Barrier. Yeah, that might expire before it can really be effective, actually. Yes, the Sound Barrier's run out now, and now the damage is coming back, so maybe slightly early there from Rafa. 
I don't think it really hurt them though, was the fact that Zardus gets a, a point blank barrage right into the face of Shatter. ID trying to reciprocate with a barrage of his own, but he actually doesn't find any damage here, and he's also lacking teammates. Space tries to get in his face, but Dahang arrives just in time to keep ID nice and topped up, so it's gonna have to be Zar who delivers the killing blow. He just wrecks Dahang. This guy is insanely accurate with those rockets, and now he and ID are just gonna go off in the corner and do their thing for five minutes. No, space shot down ID, puts that one thankfully to rest and 99% this is it looks like you're actually going to take this one away it's going to be Rafa falling down on the point ACK trying to keep this alive trying to keep their series hopes alive dashes through the point another recall here but Lynx is on top of him trying to clean up ACK he's he, he stayed alive for a long time to be fair but that was a brilliant concussive blast Mezzi gets knocked back off the point there's no chance to recontest nicely done by Yikes nicely done by